Like, is this bitch Jesus? Like, she continued to walk in the water, and he, <laughs> they, they kept going into the wall, the darkness. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Netflix Roulette. I'm your host, Kate Hughesby. This is the show where we randomly select a piece of Netflix content, watch it, review it, tell you if it's trash or something you should get on. Today, I am joined by the one and only Mateen Stewart. What up, Mateen uh, is a stand-up comedian, a podcast host, a writer, an actor. We originally first met um, on set with Anthony Padilla, and we've worked together since um, on a few little projects here and there. Mm-hmm. And um, you actually just launched a new podcast, right, called Like a Virgin? Yeah, I just, I just launched a, a new podcast with a, another comedian, um, Meredith Jacqueline, uh, and we talk about um, love, sex, and then we interview um, people on how they lost their virginity. <laughs> How's that going? How's the whole like podcast experience going? Well, we had like four in the can before all this happened, so we're mm-hmm. releasing those, and we haven't had like... Um, uh, on online recording yet so we're gonna start that next week to to continue to do it so nice yeah i love the idea i listened to the first episode everyone should go check it out it's hilarious and right. it's something everyone can relate to you know like yeah uh well at least you'd hope um <laughs> <laughs> i mean eventually how'd the idea come to you guys well i um i had the idea because i would do a show oh man i gotta find my light <laughs> let, me, let me move I did a I would do a show uh, I used to do a comedy show where comics would come and they talk about their first time performing stand up and uh, it was called the first timers club and then I wanted to do a podcast and I talked to Meredith who she wanted to do a podcast she's a she's a I guess technically a sex worker um, what <laughs> Yeah, if you have a if you have an OnlyFans, that you're that's a sex that's sex. oh one hundred percent yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I so guess she, then yeah I guess then I'm a sex worker too yeah so she um she had that and I'm I'm really like I mean if you see my comedy I talk a lot about love sex and relationships oh yeah so I just thought it was just um just a good pairing with with us two you know so so then I you know I talked to her about it and she said she wanted to start a podcast. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we, we end up doing it. Not it, but like doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's a really fun um, balance with you two. Like mm-hmm. you two are, are great together. Um, I, I think that idea of like the first time for anything is really um, interesting. Like the first time I watched uh, an Indian horror movie uh, on the first episode of Netflix Roulette. Like that was... Oh. a first as well Mm. um and like quarantine it's the first time i've been stuck in a house for two months almost house arrest yeah how's quarantine going for you are you uh staying mentally sane uh yeah i'm i mean i'm cool bro like i i'm in a good place as far as like to be stuck i have a i have a home that i live in in the valley i have a swimming pool so I, I've been using that a lot. Uh, oh, nice. The biggest, the biggest thing is like, uh, like not eating everything, you know. So you get yeah, to, you get because I was in, I was in a groove. I was in a groove, like a fitness groove. I was going to the gym like every every day. I was playing a lot of basketball, and then like you, you, you work out at home, but it's not even, it's not the same because you're working out at home. Pretty much just takes care of your regular walking around calories. Like we, we so true. Like, yeah, like walking around, like being active, just walking, you know, doing your day-to-day life, you burn calories doing that. You know, you at school walking around campus. Yeah, like taking the bird scooter from my apartment to the campus, like mm-hmm. that's usually like I usually get those calories. Yeah. So, you know, you got to you got to take that into <laughs> consideration a lot, dude, cuz like, yeah. you know, it's just it's just snacks on snacks, man. It's always snacks. So yeah. I'm, just, I'm just trying not to buy snacks. For me, it's like I'm either not eating for two days or I'm like doing nothing but eating. You know, right. it's like it's been weird like that. Uh, and it does. It's fine. It's just kind of mm-hmm. going with the flow and um, taking it day by day. But like 
waking yeah. up at 1 p.m. doesn't help. Yeah, man. It's like <laughs> I, woke, I had to. I had to tell myself. I was like, today I'm gonna wake up at eight, just just so I do not lay in the bed to 11. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I rationalize things differently. Like I ate last week. I ate half a cake, so I wouldn't eat it the next day. Like, oh my god. It was like, <laughs> but that made sense to me. I was like, I'm gonna eat half of it today, so I won't eat half to eat. I think a lot of people can relate to that, honestly. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I just, this, I don't know if she does comedy anymore, but she's big on Twitter. I think her name's Bridget Fetacy. She tweeted, uh, you don't gain weight in the apocalypse. So stop calling this the apocalypse. <laughs> That's very true. You're lucky if you can, like, find a crumb on the ground in the apocalypse. And meanwhile, yeah. we're over here, like, hoarding up on uh, – I was frying cheese the other day. I literally fried cheese. Mm. I had catfish and grits. I've had it, like, <laughs> like six times. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but how have you been, like, adapting to doing stand-up online? Because I know you've done a few shows on uh Zoom, right? Actually, it's it's been really weird. But initially, I was a little like like uh, intimidated by it because you know you just don't know how it's going to go. But of course, yeah. When you think like, oh yeah, there's there's seventy people. The first show I did had like seventy five people in there, so I was like, oh yeah, there's seventy five people that you know I haven't performed in front of. So <laughs> let me tell them these jokes, and then those seventy five people paid. So like, all the comics got paid. You know, and I always say I tra I traveled further for less, but um, <laughs> it's so yeah, true. Yeah, I I did a I did an hour, like by myself, um, like two days, three days ago, and it it went really well. Uh, I did it more presentational style, where I, where I bought like slides and pictures and videos of things, and tried to make it a little more interactive. Oh, and that's I, cool. Yeah, I'm, I think I'll do do one of those again, but um, but yeah, man, I it's. You know, you just try to try to stay funny, try to stay relevant. You know, you got to sharpen those tools. So yeah. I've been writing. I've been writing a lot. There's a couple um, writer fellowship programs that are taking submissions. So, you know, just getting ready for that, man, and you know, just do what I can do. I had a bunch of gigs canceled. Uh, yeah. I do, yeah, I do weddings too. In my yeah. Business. Like I do like uh, DJ and MC and weddings. So I had like all my weddings in in June got canceled. Uh, and they're looking to reschedule. So if they stay together, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that is true. Bro. Yeah. All right. Well, let's jump into it. Um, okay. It sounds like we're we're ready to to go here. So I'm gonna share my screen, and basically, here's how it's gonna work. Um, Netflix splits their genres into random four-digit or three-digit codes, mm -hmm. and so to find the most random um, content possible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to give me uh, random numbers. Tell me if the numbers mean anything, and um, we'll see what we get. Okay, I'm going to go 0269. 0269. Because it takes two people to 69. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not one. Netflix is missing out on okay. that. Okay, I'm going to give another one. Uh, how about, uh, 2003, 2003, a great year. Oh man. Oh, sorry, Nothing think, again. I think two might, two might. Okay. Let's see. God damn it. Um, how about, uh, four, seven, zero, six, four, seven, zero, six. Yeah nothing oh I'm, man I'm striking out okay how about how about uh this happens every time don't worry it takes okay. a while it takes okay. a while okay it's roulette okay how about uh <laughs> one one nine oh six one nine oh six nothing 1906 uh, yeah how about how about uh three six nine Four. Three, six, nine, four. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I, think that's, I think I'm six for six. So <laughs> All right, All right everyone. Thank you so much for watching. That I know. I know. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta, you can't do it. But uh, okay, how about, how about, um, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. How about seven, nine, eight, four. 
7984. Sci-fi dramas based on books. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. So we'll be watching Under the Skin, a beautiful yeah. alien on the hunt. She's the ultimate fantasy for lonely men and really gets under their skin. Dude, that's, this has Scarlett Johansson that, in it. That's Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, what the wow. heck? I've never heard of it. Under the Skin. Came out in 2013. It's rated R. It's a British movie. All right, everyone. So we'll be watching Under the Skin, and we'll be right back with our review. Dude, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm mad, bro. I know what to say. I'm mad. I didn't even pay, I didn't even pay for it, and I want my money back, bro. Wow. I can't, I can't believe someone they gave them eight million pounds to make that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. You know, I I can't say that. Um, I'm disappointed. I had never seen this before because I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't either. Um, it was, it was dark. It was confusing. Basically, the whole thing of this movie was what the hell is going on? Yes. That's sort of the only thing keeping you on. And also, it's the through line is like a pretty white woman can do whatever the fuck she want to do to anybody. <laughs> like, if like like it like they just got in their car. They just followed her. They just did whatever she wanted them to do. And then they just ended up just vamoose. And like, why did <laughs> why'd they keep walking? Like, why? Like, she was walking in the room. It's just like you walk into a room of complete darkness. Yeah. You know, and then you can think, like, that is how horny dudes are. Dudes are so horny. Yeah. They, they were willing to do whatever they can, just the possibility <laughs> of getting some action. Hey, I'm in a dark room walking into water. Why yeah. not? Makes like sense. It, like, is this bitch Jesus? Like, she continued to walk in the water. And you, <laughs> they, they kept going into the water, the darkness. It was like, um, and you know what's crazy? Like, I wouldn't even known she was an alien um, unless I read the description of the movie. Like, it was never really explained, you know, that she's like a supernatural being or whatever. And then all of a sudden she's bringing this, these men that she seduces into like the up. It looked just like the upside down from stranger things, which is interesting. Cause this came out like two years before stranger things. And also I had the thing was like, when they went into the, the thing, it was like, Oh, they went into their sunken place. That's what it, it sort of looked like. They were yeah. going sunk, their sunken place. I mean, I read, I read the reviews after I watched this and uh, one guy explained it perfectly. He was like, oh, yeah, Scarlett Johansson goes around Scotland getting all these dudes to follow her into this dark room. They go to another dimension. She meets another dude uh, that's, like, deformed, lets him go. Then some dude just kills him. Then she meets another guy on the bus, tries to have sex. Oh, it doesn't work. She leaves, finds a logger. Logger tries to rape her. Logger uh, figures out shit's going wrong longer that's, set, longer that's, sets on fire movie. that's exactly what happened that's, that's literally exactly what happened um, and i'm like what the fuck did i just watch that's what it yeah they didn't even make a point of using the deformed man um that they let go they didn't even bring him back i thought maybe he was gonna save her or something what well, they, they did it, it was just like messy dude killed him, dude killed him. Right, it's just like what was that supposed to show us? Like that that she has some compassion. That she's, I think, what it was was like, oh, now she's she's starting to get some compassion. She's starting to feel empathy. So maybe right. she, 
she's starting to learn a human form in certain objects yeah like halfway through she was like because like it is an alien and i think it's interesting that like if an alien was to take the form of a human they'd choose scarlett johansson like <laughs> yeah um because she could do whatever she wants like you said whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> but um like halfway through she was sort of the alien character our main character was sort of realizing like maybe there's something to these humans you know but she still (laughs) acted creepy as fuck she had like she had like 10 lines in the whole movie like right my my process as an artist is like writing this down like the first what 18 minutes was no dialogue like almost yeah it was just it was just all action and i was like they sold they pitched this movie and sold it like (laughs) This is this is what is so frustrating to me. Like they spent eighteen million eight eight million pounds to make this movie. That's too much money. And most of it probably went to go pay for her to be in the movie. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you get to a point where like someone's just shelling move money at you. You're gonna you're gonna do the movie. Like, oh yeah, I'll give you <laughs> fucking six million pounds to do this movie she probably read the script and she was like absolutely fucking not and then they're like here's 10 million dollars uh yeah. and she's like great what do you need me to do you don't even have to read this script there's no reading necessary i think that's one of the reasons why the critics because it did get an 85 percent on rotten tomatoes i think that's one of the reasons the critics liked it is because that it does have such little dialogue and it's like a cinematic sort of it kind of walks the borderline of like abstract and narrative a little bit if you know what i mean like i think it was like like because i'm not really into abstract movies at all um and i think that this had like just enough narrative in it um to like still sort of enjoy it a little bit like i'd personally give it a 50 percent because i think it had like elements there that were like cool and like it did explore some ideas of like sexuality and like mankind but i don't know i think like it was just sort of empty um like the shell that she lived in it was very empty i give it a 30 percent and and it only does not get a 20 percent is because you see naked scarlett johansson yeah that's it (laughs) the full frontal nudity was definitely i'm I'm pretty sure that it wasn't even her right well you know you never know it, it could be she could be into her her thing like that but i you know i kept watching it's like it's one of those movies where like it's so bad that you say like how the fuck is this gonna end like <laughs> bring it back are they gonna are they gonna get me to enjoy this and it never got there no never i think like like what were some highlights for you for me i think some parts that i actually enjoyed were like when she got lit on fire at the end <laughs> Mm. and then also like the visual effects of like the men in the sunken place getting consumed like that was those visual effects were cool to watch but like and then i was thinking i was like that's where the money went to that effect itself (laughs) was probably it was scarlett johansson that effect and then the rest of the movie that was the budget yep it 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 was just trying to be too much Mm mm-hmm but the thing about it is, it was it, it in terms of money and making a movie. It was a successful movie. It made thirteen million pounds, you know. So it 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 was a successful movie. I had never heard of it before. Me neither. You know, it came out in two thousand and thirteen, and you know, I was like, why Scotland? Like, why this place? You know, the, you know, she, you know, the baby. Like, what do you do with the? What, what did they do with the baby? Oh, that was sad. Yeah, that was a sad part. Um, I kind of felt like I was watching a nature documentary, um, even though there was nothing really natural about what was going on, just because, like, the alien character, Scarlett Johansson, is, like, a predator. Um, And, like, these men are, like, her prey. And it was just, like, I don't know. She'd have to do nothing but say, hey, want to ride? And they're like, yeah, man, let's go. Like, <laughs> let's go back to this dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one, was, no, no one was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the one guy was like, hey, I just want to go grocery shopping. She's like, touch my hands. Like, you're like, oh my god. Like, yeah. She's like, wait, I actually have to put in some work for this guy because the guy. Yeah. Um, I was, te- I was texting you during the movie. I was like, you should have this man on your podcast. It's his yeah. first. It's his first time. Yeah, I looked him up. Looked up his whole story. He's an actor and. He has some kind of uh, this. This it, it wasn't makeup. At first, I thought it was a, a prosthetic, but it's his real face. 
Yeah, I wrote it down. It's called neurofibromatosis. Mm-hmm. It's like a facial disorder. It looks like he had a face transplant or something. Yeah, there's a lot um, of people on TikTok that are that have that that they they you know they make videos on TikTok. Oh, okay, cool. I gotta check that out. Um, Go down a TikTok hole. Um, have you been getting into TikTok? Like, what's your relationship with TikTok? Because I have two viral TikToks, so I feel pretty. Oh, you do? Oh, look yeah. at you. Oh, me. oh man, how much you made from that? Like <laughs> six cent. All right. Anyway, um, no, it's 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 not really a thing for me. I mean, it was when I was in China. Like they they were just talking all about it. And it's a Chinese company, and China is collecting all your data. I hope people don't realize that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Chinese government owns the company. Um, yeah, it's 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 very addictive. Yeah, it's it it preys on your your tendencies to like things that are like repetitive. Like you find yourself watching the video over and over and over again. You know, the shorter the better. Your attention spans like this. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've watched some video, and now like I've had like dreams about songs like i hear a song me and too what if you just you just it's like you're being hypnotized yeah tiktok's Weird. like the opposite of this movie yeah yeah, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> i totally feel you on that like all the songs are stuck in my head all the time um anything else to say about this movie i think we covered everything um it was really disturbing. It was. Um, there were some really cool locations. The cinematography was in, eh, like, you know, there were some cool shots here and there. It was like, it was dark. It was like damp. And, but, I mean, it was that, literally dark. Yeah, it was. It's that Scotland. I think they wanted to show like the dampness and, and darkness of, of Scotland. And I mean, anytime like like British people get killed in movies, I I don't really care. But um, but yeah, it was it was it was a good. It was it was bad bad, so you wouldn't recommend you would not recommend this no i would unless you have a a fetish for for scarlett johansson naked um and i was just thinking like oh man colin jost has sex with her like i I thought that. yeah yeah i was thinking about colin jost yeah yeah i got this weird background because um, yeah what's going on there is that i think it's i think it's for my thing usually i have a green screen when i do these calls but I haven't really figured oh, out. Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so um, with that being said, I would not recommend, our, our final verdict is we would not recommend, um, what is it called? Under the Skin? Under um, the Skin. Two yeah. thumbs down. Yeah. Um, if you're into abstract, dark um, shit, then definitely maybe check it out. But for my taste, nope. Um nope. Mateen, uh, what are you up to these days? Where can people find you? What kind uh, of stuff? You can find me on at Mateen Stewart on all uh, platforms. Also, check out Like a Virgin podcast on all streaming platforms. Uh, we release a new episode every Friday. Uh, this week, we have uh, Gabby Lamb. Comedian Gabby Lamb is on, on this week. So, yeah, she, um, she has a really uh, interesting story. And that's the thing about when you talk about people losing their virginity. You know, you know, there's different ways that people have had sexual experiences, and that is the one thing that is very unique for us all. Like, it's not always a good experience, you know. Yeah, and it's something no one really ever talks about, so it's really cool that it's sort of being normalized like this uh, yeah. on on your podcast. Yeah. All right, everyone, that will do it for this week's episode of Netflix Roulette. I'm your host, Cade Hughesby. Once again, thank you, Mateen, for coming on and right suffering on. through this movie with me. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 o